Hello and welcome everybody, hope that you're good and we're here with Alandrus and not only that, we've got the Shadow ho -Oh Raid Weekend 2191, that would be a Honda Rayquaza. Shadow Shiny Potential ho -Oh in the raids for this weekend, we're going to be covering that in tomorrow's video, but now we're going to be chasing Giovanni who's got the brand new Shadow Kyogre as his mon that you pick up after battling him. Will this be shiny? It's not unfortunately. Landorus luck has been very bad. Let me know in the comments below how you've been doing with Landorus or if you're saving your raid passes ahead of all the Sinnoh Tour good fun and games that's coming up later in the season so i have to say a massive thank you to barside 2 who gifted me the paid ticket research for this event the gifts are cool pose um i have just heard that the research requires you to battle 5 10 15 20 rocket grunts which considering the event is only five days long might be a struggle for some lander has finally caught after it ditched all of the excellent throws going over the new team leaders so sierra now has shadow shiny tentacle for the first time ever cliff has the shadow shiny zubat i definitely say avoid cliff this time around and the returning shadow shiny is the one and only bag on at the hands of arlo so very much worthy of chasing arlo in battles timeless travels research part three that you gotta do which is obviously the team rocket stuff there is the ticketed research in the today tab it's a bit rubbish that they're making paid research timed so you lose it and considering it's basically five quid i'm not spinning stops because i want to get through 12 12s the aim for today is to get that shadow kyogre and something else has been noted it may be patched by the time this video gets viewed by you, but double check. Shiny Nimble has accidentally been released. There's no event spawns for this event, but I've seen people with Shiny Nimble. It's a beautiful yellow shiny, so go and get it if you can do. But before we dive into all of that, if you haven't done so already, please do smash the like button and do subscribe if you are new as well. I'd hugely appreciate the support particularly if you enjoy the content. I'd love to see you coming back to the channel. So let's go and find Giovanni if we can do. And Shadow ho -Oh, we're gonna do a couple of raids on this video, but tomorrow will be the major raid weekend video. So don't go anywhere, people. Okay, the first ho -Oh of the raid weekend. Will it be the Shadow Shiny and 2159? You're looking for 2207, of course. Not that this information would be terribly relevant, but maybe it is because this is going up today. Party play in power. Ugh, not Shadow Shiny. Oh, 2149, my bad. I would love to get a good IV one of this, but of course Shadow Shiny tick it off for the decks so would be even better. We've got two more that we're gonna go and do, but they will be in tomorrow's video. So, first Arlo of the video. This is gonna be the one after the Team Rocket event that I'm gonna be chasing for the next three months because Shadow Shiny, bag on. Not only, we do have quite a few of them already, but Shadow Salamance is one of the best shadows in the game. Top tier dragon type. So we'd love to see if we can nab a hundo shadow of it, like JT has in his damn storage. And this is not green, and 233 I think is pretty dead. We do have a decent 93 that we maxed to level 50. If I could pick up a better one, that'd be awesome. We did very well with Dratini in the last wave. Yeah, this is a dead one star, so that's very poor. No rocket leaders. Okay, it's all the way down there. But the aim is to get those 12-12s, because I don't want to waste time by spinning stops and having to hatch normal eggs. So, first Sierra. We know it's tentacle. It'd be cool to get the new Shadow Shiny, but I'm definitely not chasing it. I'm not overly concerned about chasing Shadow Shinies that aren't really relevant. So, whoop, not Shadow Shiny, but 336, because it's weather boosted. Question is how good that's going to be. A dead two star. Love it. Good thing to note the normal grunt has all Shadow Shiny potential. Stantler, Meowth, and Teddy Ursa. We might as well shiny check another tentacle. My Hundo Zerkatry. Ooh, it does some damage. Discharge does the shield removal for tentacle and obviously takes it down because it's electric, super effective. And then the Dazzling Gleam second move annihilates the dark type that's usually in slot number two and the Houndoom if it's in slot number three. Not Shadow Shiny and 362, sorry. I've heard people saying that this Tentacruel Shadow has some limited run in PvP. I can't extrapolate on that because it's PvP. And there was an Arlo right next door, so having just bought a radar, because I want to get the 912s filling up the normal egg space. Give me a green bagel. Oh uh, no. 230. Very dead. Right, first Cliff of the video. And I will say, Cliff is going to be the team leader you're going to find everywhere for the next three months until they shake it up again because who really wants a shadow shiny zubat and apart from collectors it kind of serves no purpose and we don't have it 224 no idea i will say actually it wasn't a zubat it was a crowbat was my first ever shadow hundred percenter one of two i have and oh what a surprise there's another cliff right next door <laughs> finally got those egg slots filled so we can do this research spinning some stops What's the paid research going to give a Brooksish that can't be shiny yet? Interesting choice. I genuinely don't know why they put Brooksish in there, but um, we get an incubator and some Stardust. Is that it? 
I thought you got a pose. Maybe, I don't know. The timeless travels research, here we go. So, Scraggy, 570. More grunts, we get the super radar, which is something. Transfer 10, catch 15. Oh, there we go, it's finally popped in, taking treasures, hallelujah. Finally done, six grunts. So there's some potions and revives, which actually, if you haven't noticed, or maybe it's not been pushed out to everybody right now, there is a heal and revive all button. At long last, after nearly eight years of development, it's finally in the game. That's another Scraggy, okay, interesting. But having that heal or revival button finally means there's no more faffing around tapping and waiting for the game to lag as you're reviving stuff for raids. It's really, really good. So let's claim these silver pineapples and stuff like that and see what the next stage will be eventually. But we have, of course, this, which means we can claim another super radar. And we should now have to battle one of the leaders each. And there should be an Arlo just behind me. Thank you, Ree, for appearing again. He pops in occasionally. So there's Arlo, Cliff, and Sierra. We've got to defeat them all. And there's the Arlo. This is the only thing I have a real gripe with. It's the paid timed research. You pay five bucks, five dollars, five pounds, whatever it is in your local currency. Then you have to defeat a bunch of rocket grunts, which unless you're in a big city, you might be waiting around quite a while for refreshes and balloons. And also, it's a raid weekend, so a lot of people are out chasing Shadow of Shiny ho -Oh, and then people are back at work on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So you have to defeat a lot of grunts, which take a lot of time, and a lot of people may not be able to complete it. So again, I know a lot of people on social media agree with this. Why is paid research timed? It should be in the other tab. It has been in the past. Niantic have made a real hash of making paid research a times limited thing. So if you pay for it and don't claim your rewards will complete the task, you lose it, which I think is frankly scandalous. I managed to take down that Arlo using nothing but my level 50 Latios, which is interesting considering it has Golurk in the middle. So it's not green. On 2.30 we know it's pretty terrible. Good thing update wise, look, the, how, look how massive the, the leader blobs appear on the map now. I think it's a really welcomed update actually, it just makes them far more obvious to see. The clip for the research, we'll just see if it's going to be a green shadow to bat or something like that. It's just easy to tick him off and I don't have to worry about Cliff at all, apart from chasing 12 kilometer eggs. So, no. No surprise there really. My thanks to the one and only Newcombs and 2179 for a lander is terrible but this has actually come from the liverpool regional championships over there for the pvp shenanigans newcombs is up there for this weekend so thanks dude got the final strike can it be a shiny uh sadly not and that is sierra for the research ticked off we knew it was at that location so 12 12 kilometer egg sorted not a shadow shiny but now we can come to this page and claim a little bit of xp and now Super Rocket Radar. Now we've got to find Giovanni. If we can find Giovanni at a stop and save a balloon, that'd be great. Also, by the way, if you want to try and find this Nimble, it's in a pool of Pokemon that's included in the Defeat 2 Rocket Grunt. So these two quests are dead. There's quite a lot in Walpole, look at that. <laughs> There's one sort of en route because we've got four Shadow Hoa we can go and do, which we'll see tomorrow. The balloon pops off a lot quicker than I expected. So 2 p.m. we're actually gonna battle Giovanni using the balloon. And this is actually hysterically the same lineup I want to use. So we're going Lucario for the Persian, Kyogre for the three ground type we could have, Garchomp, Rhyperia, or Nidoking, and then Katana for that Kyogre because it will resist the Blizzard move if it ever gets to it. So hopefully that Razor Leaf can do some good work and also it's got Leaf Blade. So let's just hopefully blast through this. There are gonna be other options and counters you can use. I'd suggest Swampert for your middle slot if you don't have a good Kyogre and maybe an electric type for the Kyogre would be a decent option. Burn the shields as per normal, hopefully scratch is not going to do too much damage what would also be good is if this has a riparia which is also weak to fighting no it's nido king okay we're going to keep this as a sacrificial swap i say giovanni battles are nowhere near as difficult as they were back in 2019 it used to take 20 runs at giovanni to have to beat him now simple easy and done that's nido king in the bin let's see shadow kyogre for the first time in pokemon go Let's throw a blizzard at it because we can't switch out just yet. Shadow Kyogre seeing its shiny variant. Don't forget, we've seen obviously shadow legendaries are coming as shiny to tier five shadow raids on weekends, but it's gonna be a very, very long time before we even see Shadow Kyogre as a shiny in tier five raids for the weekend of whenever, probably 2027. Ooh, Kyogre actually does do some damage. Look at that, touch and go on that Kyogre. There we go, done and dusted. So I think 927 CP would be the 100% Kyogre, which would be an amazing one to get. So if you could actually let me get my rewards, come on. 
There we go. And there's Shadow Kyogre, 885. Unfortunately, not fantastic. Let's just get it caught and see on a scale of bad to hysterically awful where it's gonna lie. I'd love to get something good, but this is not that. You need 900 plus. Mm. One star, but Kyogre completed, which means research is in the bag. Whatever is gonna be auto completed. I oh, know we have to do some more grunts. Surprise, surprise. So more grunts and stops and everything for that. But I have some good news. A while ago, there was a box that was mysteriously added to the shop by mistake and it had three Super Rocket Radars in it. This is way back in like August or July of 2023. And I bought a box. So we're gonna go for another Kyogre and see if it's gonna be any better. Well, rather hysterically, next door to not only where we completed the Giovanni battle from the balloon, there's another Giovanni. So we're just gonna jump in and it's basically back-to-back -back Giovanni battles. Let's see if round two of Kyogre is gonna be anything good. Best shadow water type only behind Primal. Kyogre, I believe. Come on, let me get that second power-up punch. There we go, just about. Done, shields burnt. Persian in the bin. Now, who's up next? Garchomp. Thank God Kyogre has Blizzard. That's why you second move your legendaries, people. It may be 100k dust, but I'd say it's definitely worth it. Oh, that is devastating. That is devastating damage. Please don't knock me out. Please don't knock me out. Oh, God. See, despite the fact that it's sort of resistant, maybe... Oh, my God. Shield the Katana. This Katana's going to die before it's even defeated Kyogre. If I can stock up the energy, though... Let me stock up the energy. This is me clutching the straws with this battle. One... Let me get to another one, please. Come on. Uh, oh, we just lost. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, redo the team and show you a win. <laughs> a little bit of a reshuffle worked. We actually brought in Suicune with Ice, I think it's Ice Fang and, and Bubble Beam. It still did the work, thankfully. So this is Kyogre number two. Can we get something better than 885, please? Oh my God. Hit a like on the video if you think scrolling through Team Rocket rewards is too slow. Come on, Kyogre894. It's a little bit better. It's just a little bit better. Is it pushing me to burn all those Super Rocket Radars I have? It's still the fact that the one before was a one star, so I'm strongly suspecting this is a kind of a dead two star. Three XL candy and yeah, it's a dead two star. Max revives and max potions, which actually with the heal all button is incredibly useful. Not everybody has that, by the way. It should be rolling out hopefully to everybody soon, but I could definitely say quality of life update. This encounter. Sorry. I, I, I'm sort of dissing research that Barside 2 gifted me. So I, again, I really appreciate the gifting, but come on Niantic. I think that's two encounters out of this paid ticketed research that can't be shiny. Like who on earth wants a wheezing when you can get a shadow shiny coughing in the grunts and evolve it to a shadow shiny wheezing. Anyway, we get an incense, which of course I have to say, tomorrow, episode 155? I think, of the Incense podcast is going to drop. This is the stage I was dreading. So not only is it 10 more grunts, which thankfully it's boosted them, but not everybody's going to be able to get out this weekend and then people are working. It's the Purify 10 Shadows. Now, unless you stock up on 1K purifications, which thankfully I sort of have done. Right, we have a few 1K purifications to our name, but they're making you spend a minimum of 10,000 dust, which you sort of roughly get back from the research, but then it, it negates the whole thing of the Stardust as a reward. Okay, before the day's out, before we hatch our 12 12s, we're gonna make it a triple Giovanni, and actually I'm gonna swap in what GoHub recommends you do. Put Swampert in there. Mine's not level 50, it's level 40. Actually, I can finally show you the heal all. Look, there's the heal all button. That's what it looks like right there. And you can do, click the item, revive, click a different potion, revive, max. It's all good. I want to save one of Giovanni radars because we know that in three months time, Shadow Groudon will be the next one coming to the game, very likely. Call this on stream, but I think we'll get Shadow Rayquaza after Groudon, which will be around sort of August time, I think. So August, Go Fest season, potentially Shadow Rayquaza. Persian out of the way, finally. Let's see what the next Mon is going to be. It's the Garchomp again. This one has Mudshot rather than Dragon Tail, which is actually a little bit better. It's just a longer battle, that's all. There we go. One more Hydro Pump should eliminate the Garchomp. Maybe the Go Hub prediction was actually better than mine. It does help me has ground boost. That's better. And here comes the regular Kyogre Shadow. Let's swap into Katana. Can I get that Leaf Blade off? My goodness me. Waterfall does do some damage despite Katana obviously sort of resisting that water damage. Real question, is it going to be better than 894 or 895, whatever the last one was? Okay, Shadow, Kyogre, what are you going to be? 
low power, 897. It's a tiny improvement. Is it worth putting the fourth one in? I don't know, probably another dead two star. Yeah, 15, what's that? Eight, nine, six. Wonderful. And I think I will save that other rocket radar. If the Kyogre's not gonna play nice with me, it will come to Shadow Raids eventually. And we've got the Primal right now. So the next thing to do is hatch those 1212s and try and get Varum as a Pokedex. Folks, we've hopped into the MX-5 to go and get some more Shadow ho -Hos. But here are some seven kilometer eggs and we're hoping for a Varum Pokedex. Come on, that was a Pan Sham, or maybe some Shiny Luck. They've desynced annoyingly, so we've got seven, and there'll be another five afterwards. How that's happened, I'm not sure. Francesco's already managed to hatch two today, which is very interesting to see, and they're all in the same rarity tier. Yes, Hello. there we go. Pokedex Varum into the game. Fantastic, and being a bit of a petrol head, it's kind of my mon, I guess. I need to evolve it. So I land it, maybe I could be a female. And those were the eggs. Let's see what we managed to get. So this was rubbish. Uh, Varum is 69%, one of the worst you can get. Fantastic, it's how you start off with all these Pokedexes. Uh, Panchem's a bit dead. Salanda is a male, and that was that. Those eggs are about to go off. Maybe we can shake them, but there's a Shadow ho here that you'll see in tomorrow's video. They must have de by literally 10, 20 meters or something like that. The old trick, if you're an iPhone user, put your phone upside down. Because when you walk, it's usually upside down, isn't it? Right, well, let's see what the next five are going to be, shall we, after after this raid. Well, as expected, the other five desynced. So we're going to see what these final five twelves are going to be. And first up is non-shiny disappointment. We already have that shiny family completed. And hundo family as well. This was in the overflow storage as well. So the one few things that can't be shiny out of those twelves, so land it. Salandit, Salan Sandal. Both the Salandit and Salandal can't be. There's uh, Salandit. Look at that. I willed it into existence. Maybe it could be female. Can't wait for that thing to be shiny in the game. God, can you imagine trying to hatch a female shiny Salandit? Jeez, good luck to you. But that was a Sandal again. Six XL candy. Need a hundo of it. I haven't had a hundo of it. Maybe that could be it again. I don't know. So that's three. Sa oh my days. That was bad. So there we go. That was a very bad batch of five. So we've got a Sandal that's. Uh, no, it could be in Hundo. Come on, so close. A female Salandit. I don't know how good it is in PvP. I mean, it's got 10 attack, but hey, fantastic. That's a Sandile, a Volaby, and a Sandile. Well, we had just the 98, which is okay, but am I going to restock on eggs? Probably not today. And with that, we're going to conclude day one of this Shadow ho -Oh raid weekend. I know we've only shown like one raid, but three Shadow Kyogre acquired. Nothing spectacular, unfortunately, but we do have the option of doing another one if we so please. We're going to save it for Groudon, plus Varum in the Pokedex, which is smashing. And I did mention Shiny Nimble seems to be out. Whether it's accidental or intentional is a surprise. We don't know, but we have got video confirmation it exists. So best of luck for the rest of this ho -Oh raid weekend. Let me know if you've got the shiny already. Stick around the channel because we can be putting that up on the channel tomorrow evening, the full weekend of Shadow ho -Oh raids. Let's see how many we can do. And on that note, I'm gonna say, if you enjoy the video, please do smash a like down on it and do subscribe if you are new as well. I'd hugely appreciate your support, particularly with the Shadow ho -Oh raid video coming up very soon. And of course, a big thank you to everybody who is a wonderful Patreon member. These guys on the rolling credits at the end of every single one of the videos we produce here on the channel are the reason this continues to be a possibility. Thank you so much for your continued support, everybody. And there's not much left to say apart from let me know if you've done your Kyogre Shadow already. Was it good or was it trash, kind of like mine? What's the leader luck been like for you? Because from now on, it's Arlo all the way. It's Arlo only. We're not chasing Sierra or Cliff at all. So we'll see how we do in the Shadow Shiny grind over the next couple of weeks. And of course, before we go, go and check out the Los Angeles LA Sinnoh Tour merch. It is up on the merch stores now. And until the end of tomorrow, there is 20% off across the stores thanks to Spreadshirt. So go and cop something if you fancy. I love this design. I've got mine in the post. So until tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, I will say, do take care.